What's up guys, it's Keith Kelfus, the landscapingemployeetrap.com. I got a question, a very good question. What do you do in the winter for money? Well, for years when I worked at a company and I was a foreman or a supervisor, you know, I was used to getting unemployment and plowing snow, coasting through, getting bottle fed by company. So the first year of having my own business, no unemployment. Yes, I suffered greatly. By the time spring came, we were we were down and out bad. I was doing anything, any type of side job that I could do. But truthfully, after a couple years, you build up so many clients, they keep you busy in the winter. So we're cutting down trees in the winter. We're doing tree trimming, snow removal. If you live somewhere where there's no snow, you can... I started a window cleaning company. That's what I, I have a window cleaning company too. And I literally got squeegees and scrubbers and I went door to door to door to door to door to door to door. Strip malls and plazas from cell phone stores to restaurants to everything in the middle of the freezing winter because I had no money. And I sold window cleaning, okay? Now, that turned into a whole nother business. But here's one thing. In the winter, if you got nothing, you're so motivated. I was so motivated and on fire that I sold 42 bi-weekly and monthly accounts recurring in 48 hours I sold 42 clients that we still have a lot of them till this day and now we've gotten into residential window cleaning as a whole other side of the business but besides for that here's a great financial strategy you can use let me go inside the uh, truck here we go windy out there about to rain it's June right now a lot of rain so a great financial strategy that you can do is get a piece of paper get a pen get a calculator figure out your budget what your monthly bills your food gas phone electric your cell phone bill your insurance whatever all that stuff is and you find out exactly what it costs you to live per month let's just say it's a grand or two grand fifteen hundred a month and you say okay this is what all my bills are you write that out and you say when is my last day work landscaping we finish around December 1st, sometimes December 15th. And then we start up, say, April 1st. Sometimes we start up March 15th. But go, you know, as far as you can, worst case scenario. So I go from December 1st to April 1st. It's all December at 1500 bucks. All of January, 1500 bucks. All of February, 1500 bucks. All of March, 1500 bucks. That's $6,000 that you have to have saved in the bank or cash underneath the mattress to feed you through the winter. And then everything else, whatever side jobs you do throughout the winter, are just going to be, you know, a bonus. Now, I was like, I can't come up with six grand. I'm making barely enough to make the bills right now. How am I supposed to come up with six grand by winter time? I'll tell you one thing. The way a squirrel collects and gathers nuts for the winter. When you've gone through, if you're in the landscape construction field and you know what it's like to suffer during the winter. I don't even have to say it. I know you know what it's like to not make shit during the winter. Once you've been through the, that many winters and you've failed that many times and you've gone through that much bullshit, you finally get to the point where, I mean, it could be April 1st, you, you just started landscaping in the spring and you're already like, winter's here, winter's here, so you run your ass off, you're running for the finish line all year, saving money, working your guts out, because in the winter, you'll get your free time then. You're in the landscape field, so that means you work your ass off. Uh, Monday through Saturday at least and you save your freaking money and then You'll get side jobs. I don't care if you got to go work in a restaurant or bus tables or do something I recommend staying away from a job because once you get into the entrepreneur mindset There's so many ways to make money. It's it's sick uh, My buddy owns a roofing company. I got another buddy who owns a he does remodeling. I help him remodel basements in the winter I'll um do snow of course help do roofing jobs insulation all that but if not I've got enough money saved up to where I just can sit around if I want I don't I research my ass off I become more of an expert in the field of horticulture arboriculture landscape business systemizations in the winter you'll find me at a kitchen table my wife comes home like what are you doing and I'm sitting there with four cups of coffee and I've got 16 pieces of paper all over the kitchen table with calculator and notebooks and I'm strategizing and writing out big business plans for what I plan on doing and I'm excited because in the winter see if you don't have any money you're in fear mode 
you're terrified, you're biting your nails, you don't have any options, you can't even think about planning or strategizing because you, the lights are about to get shut off. There's no food in the fridge. And it puts you in, there's, there's the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. So the parasympathetic nervous system gets triggered and what happens is you go into a fight or flight response and the mechanism in the part of the reptilian brain the old brain the mammalian brain gets triggered and then you are literally your heart races sweaty palms you're in fear state constant anxiety and you're just <laughs> you're trapped and that's the victim mentality so you're a victim you're a pussy you need to get your shit together i've heard that in my whole life and really it's 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 beating off and defending the part of the brain that is wired for survival. So there's a saying, it's, it's neurons that uh, fire together, wire together. The longer you stay an employee and you stay in fear and all that crap and you stay in traps, like a gerbil on a wheel, is the more those neurons in your brain get wired together into like a hardwired circuit board that every time there's a trigger, like a bill was passed due or you don't have any money, you go into this fear, this tailspin of anxiety and it literally just engulfs you and eats you alive and and that's the victim mindset is really something going on subconsciously that you don't have any control over and you're just reactive you're in a reactive state so to really beat that off for me I found the secret is learning that well first of all you're not a human being having a spiritual experience you're a spiritual being having a human experience okay you're gonna fucking die you are gonna die one day there's nothing you can do about it you're gonna move on to the next life and just realize that nothing can really kill you nothing can kill you, you you got to walk on the edge of death in order to get over that stuff and re rewire the neurons in your brain and in your heart to get to the point where you can push that saber toothed tiger that's chomping away at your bottom line, push that back and really get into an ab abundance type of mode where you know what, you get to the point you're not worried about money. You're so confident that money comes in that you're like, ah, you just know. You're not freaking out about it. Now I do, I'm a meticulous connoisseur of my finances. I'm checking my bank account five, six times a day. I'm constantly going over my finances, pretty much down to the nickel, saving all of my receipts. And, and you're gonna end up doing that stuff too. But yeah, it was a very long winded answer. What do I do in the winter? Oh, this past winter, I subcontracted myself plowing snow for a company I used to work for. Called them all up. Hey, you know I'm the best at plowing snow. I've been doing it for years. And I would go do that for cash on call but if there's no snow where you live there's a million ways to make money as long as you're motivated it's so true so um what was I gonna say yeah I don't even know if I want to get into the snow business I am so uh, busy moving into internet marketing other businesses MLM we're in carrot bars international 7.2 the alkaline company brain crave by nature's touch I don't know if any of that stuff means anything to you But there's there's a lot of other businesses out there And you begin to understand that the service business of just the landscape field is really just a it's a stepping stone into greater things So yep, I'm Keith Kalfas. Uh we're in a landscape job right now and I gotta get back to work. I'll take you outside real quick and I'll show you what we're doing if you're curious. I'm waiting for the graphics guy, man. He's stalling. I need all these graphics installed on my trailers. Here's the still HT-131s. They're badass trimmers for trimming shrubs and trees. I got the, uh, oops, the extender that goes up to 12.5 feet. On top of the roof here, I have a $500 uh, orchard ladder, it's an arborist ladder. It's phenomenal. This thing is like, it's huge. See that pole right there? That's so you can stick it inside of shrubs and bushes and climb up. That's where the money's at, tree trimming. I mean, talk, you can make a thousand bucks and be off by one o'clock trimming trees. With all the loppers right here, the Echo multi head attachment, I like the EBZ 701. We've got a bunch of other blowers in the other trailer, all the landscape tools trim saw for climbing I like that still saw shrub trimming everything you could possibly need get everything here it's not too organized but all the hand tools going here I invested last year in all the tree climbing gear the saddles the ropes all the uh, the stuff we, you know, we go up in trees <sighs> fucking great money dude uh, truthfully I don't even cut grass because think about this $10,000 lawnmower, 
20 bucks to cut the lawn. You know, I'm just going to do that for another video. But...